Hello everyone, welcome to this Sims 3 building video. So today I am here building the model home from Arrested Development, which is a show that I only just watched this summer. I think I watched pretty much all of it in like the course of a few weeks, like all five seasons. So yeah, I really enjoyed it and I thought that I should build the model home from the show, just give it a go. Um, yeah, so if you haven't watched Arrested Development, it's a kind of like comedy show from 2003, I think, and it ran for three seasons, and then Netflix got it in 2013 and had a couple seasons. I think the last one was actually this year, where they did half of the last season this year. And yeah, Netflix kind of ruined it in my opinion, but you know, anyway, it, it's still a really good show, and I thought it would be fun to build this house. So this house is where, at least in the first few seasons, most of the family lives, and it is a three-bedroom and two-and-a-half bathroom house, and I'm just going to say right now that don't expect this to be perfect. It's kind of impossible to create this house perfectly or even close to perfect because this is a television house, so the outside of the house is just a picture of a real house. Um, from somewhere in California. Uh, I think I found it on Google Maps once. And then the uh, interior is just a set. So the inside does not match the outside in any way, which is fantastic. Uh, the main issue is the uh, house, uh, the real house that they shot the outside of is a one-story house. But the house in the show is a two-story house, which means that if I want to include the second floor, you know, you're going to have... Um, you know, the outside not look at all like the house from the show from the outside. So, you know, it's it's just kind of a complicated thing. And also the floor plan doesn't like, it's kind of hard to fit correctly into the shape of the house, um, of the real house. So yeah, there's like a few strange things about it, but just keep in mind, this was my best attempt. And there's also a lot of constrained floor elevation going on, especially on this first level, because um, in the house, when you walk in, there's like two steps down. So that's already like three levels, like it's a step down and like a flat part and then another step down and then it's like you're on the level. So it's like three separate, like tiny thin levels on the first floor. And then I have to do a whole spiral staircase as well, which also requires a lot of constrained floor elevation, which means that in the end, the lighting is going to be a kind of strange just because of all the different kind of like um, levels and kind of weird angles and cuts in the walls and all this kind of stuff. So yeah, just keep in mind that the screenshots at the end don't look as amazing as they, you know, probably you know, would, you know, it would be nice if they looked better, but um, it's just like, you can't really, uh, you know, do much more than that with the game because it's just a constrained floor elevation just likes to do some crazy stuff. But yeah, and also another thing I wanted to mention is that depending on the season, there's different things about the house that are different. So like the kitchen floor changes at one point, and like the bedspreads in some of the rooms change and some of the bedrooms change. So, you know, I just went with whatever I could find, like had the best pictures. And, and sometimes I had to go like on Netflix and like get the correct episodes and stuff. Wow, those are some loud cicadas outside. I don't know if you can hear that. Um, yeah, so it just was like a lot of just trying to find what could be the closest match for things. And, you know, I think I did a much better job this time for a TV house than last time I built a TV house, which was, I think, five years ago. Wow, my gosh. Like five years ago, I built, I think, the house for Modern Family. But um, unfortunately, I didn't do a great job because I never actually watched that show. So, you know, it's just something that people suggested I build, and I realized that's probably better if I build houses from shows I've actually watched, so I can actually make them accurate, because I got a lot of comments on that video about how they were just like, how like that was just totally un inaccurate. So, you know, it is what it is. Um, so yeah, so another thing I want to talk about is, um, well, it's late August, so, um, you know, my uh, first semester of this year of college is starting, and I am recording these videos not at home, where I usually record my videos. So the last video, which was Abandoned House, was the first one that I didn't record at home. Um, so yeah, I've recorded like every single one of my videos up until this point in, my, in the same room. So because I'm in a different room now, um, the audio is different. So yeah, this bedroom I have in my apartment has really tall ceilings and... Um, you know, just a lot of blank walls. So it's not a very big room, but it's very echoey. So 
Uh, the last video I made, the abandoned house, I was not very happy with the audio quality of it. Uh, just because it just sounded really different. It sounded kind of echoey. I don't know if anyone noticed that, but it bothered me. So I like got these foam tiles that I put on my walls, and I think it makes it a little bit better. It's definitely like not perfect, but I think it's definitely better than it was before. But yeah, so you know, if you notice like that the audio sounds different, that's why. And also, I have a window near my desk that has a uh, air conditioner in it which means that the window's open, like put the air conditioner in, like it's not like wide open, you know, I mean like the air conditioner fills the gap, but it means that it's not like sealed as much as like a normal closed window would be. So like a lot more noise from outside gets in, which is great, like the cicadas that you probably were hearing earlier. Uh, and also like my, you know, the person below uh, this room has an air conditioner in their window and that sometimes is very loud which is wonderful. So, you know, it's there's a lot of challenges to recording here in this room. So I'm doing my best to not make the audio sound terrible. So yeah, I hope you understand. Uh, just, just trying. Um, so, you know, just getting used to this new room uh, for recording videos in. But yeah, and on the subject of moving into an apartment, I have... <laughs> I have a series. I don't really have stories I ever tell in my videos. I don't know. There's never anything that interesting happens to me. But um, yesterday was an interesting day. Um, well, it was a series of unfortunate events, <laughs> like quite quite a few unfortunate events. It started in the morning when I was going to meet my friend at like a breakfast place, and I was almost there. And then I just like felt a drop of something like on my face. It kind of like from from above. And it was like on my cheek, like kind of too close to my mouth for comfort. And I thought it was just water because like a lot of times like air conditioners in like buildings and like they condensate. So like it drips water down. Not that uncommon. Um, so that's why I assumed it was. But no, it was not that. It was bird poop and it was absolutely disgusting. And it also landed on my shirt too. So that was fun. I've never been pooped on by a bird before and that was not a great experience. So then I had to go all the way back home and clean myself up. It was like the worst. It was so gross. And then later that day, I was coming back home and there was someone standing outside my building, um, like at the buzzer. It's not like that uncommon. There's like generally people standing outside or sitting outside. Um, and sometimes they live there, sometimes they're visiting. But, um, you know, I'm like always kind of wary because like, I, you know, I mean, the building is not like open to anyone, like only people who live there are supposed to get in. So I was like, kind. I'm always like kind of wary when like people are waiting there because like the, when the door unlocks, it kind of like doesn't lock right away, like behind you. So like there's always a chance, like it's not hard for someone to follow, follow you in, um, you know, unless you like turn around and tell them like you're not, you can't come in. <laughs> um, so yeah, but there was this woman standing there yesterday and she was like standing in front of the buzzer, which is not uncommon because usually people want to get buzzed in. And I opened the door and she like, you know, was walking over like to come in. So like I held the door for her for a couple seconds and then I went upstairs and I like didn't hear like the front door close for a while. So like it sounded like she let someone else in too. And that was like, you know, all that was all there was about that situation for like 10 minutes until I went downstairs to do my laundry where my building supervisor came in and he was like, well, you know that man you let in? And I was like, I don't remember letting in a man. It's like, I, like there's a woman. He's like, oh yeah, well, there's a woman and a man. And they robbed someone's apartment and now ran away. And I was like, oh my God. He's like, gave me this whole lecture about how you can't let people in behind you. So, you know, that was great. It was a really wonderful experience, you know. So now the lesson here is you can't trust anyone. Um, no matter what they look like, you can't trust them because yeah, they, they might rob someone. So that was a really wonderful experience. Um, you know, a great start to the year, if you will. Um, yeah, so, well, actually, it turned out um, that the woman was a food delivery person because that's what he told me later. And that was all the details I was provided with. So apparently either she was in on it and like purposely let this man in behind her, or it was just like she was just delivering food and she let the guy in because she thought he lived here. And then like when she went to deliver the food, I guess he kind of, um, you know, barged in. So what, you know, wonderful. I feel really bad for the person who got robbed, especially I feel even worse. Cause I let like, I was, you know, 
somewhat involved in like opening the door like obviously i could not have known but still not not great not ideal so that was my series of unfortunate events yesterday two things like an hour apart was like too close together like way too close together for two things like that to happen so wonderful uh yeah it's really great so yeah so far nothing else catastrophic has happened but you never know you know um you know, because people say, like, getting pooped on by a bird is supposed to be good luck, but, you know, I, I, I disagree, considering what happened, like, right afterwards, so, yeah, but anyway, that was story time for this video. I don't tell stories usually, because I don't usually have interesting things to talk about, so there you go. Uh, that was a somewhat interesting and unfortunate thing, um, but how about we talk about the house now, since I've run out of other things to say, um, so, yes, um, I decided to build the house in Oasis, no, I was about to say Oasis Landing for some reason, but it's definitely not the world this is. This is Lucky Palms, and this is actually the first house that I built in Lucky Palms. Um, I got the world, I would say, earlier this year or late last year, um, like along with, I think, um, Aurora Skies and, uh, whatever, uh, Sunlit Tides, I think. Oh, and Dragon Valley. I haven't built a house in Dragon Valley yet, but I do have it, um, and so maybe I will at some point. But anyway, this is the first house that I'm building in um, Lucky Palms, and yeah, I thought it was kind of a perfect world because, you know, in the TV show, this house is kind of in this, um, you know, housing development, but it's the only house there <laughs> because, um, you know, the um, uh, Bluth Company can't afford to build the development uh, because of the whole fiasco going on with the um, with George Sr. So yeah, uh, it's the only house there during most of the show. I think season four, five, four. I think in season four they actually build the rest of the houses, but yeah, for the first three seasons of the show, it's just this house. So, you know, I thought it was in the desert pretty much. I think like some of the shots like have grass out front and some don't. So I decided to kind of like, um, you know, you know, kind of like, <laughs> just put a little bit of grass but like not a lot so it kind of like it goes right down the middle there um but yeah so when it comes to the floor plan i was actually able to find um floor plans online which was kind of surprising uh, i don't know who made those and who took the time to put them together but they were very helpful because it didn't because it meant i didn't have to like analyze every little part of the house to figure out what what where like uh you know all the rooms went but yeah, so I use the floor plans that I found online, and actually, you know what? I'll link them in the description below for your reference if you really want to reference those. Um, yeah, so you know, if something feels off, you know, don't blame me. Blame the floor plans that I used. Um, but I, I'm pretty sure this feels very accurate, um, which is fantastic. Uh, so yeah, the only thing is the this area here, so the dining room and kitchen feel a little bit larger than I think they are in the show, especially the dining room feels too big. But the problem was I had to like expand the dining room and kitchen a little bit because the second floor didn't fit on top of the dining room and kitchen when they were like the correct size. So again, you know, it's a set in the show. So, you know, it's not really based on reality, uh, like about what a real house would be like. So, you know, I had to do my best here to kind of make it work in like a cohesive house but for the most part the kitchen feels pretty correct you know the colors feel pretty correct i have that like fridge in that weird little room there um and yeah so you know and i think depending on the season the bar stools are in different locations so i went with the bar stool location from i believe seasons one through three although who knows it might change episode by episode but i think in the later seasons all the bar stools were around like that farther away island for some reason but anyway, it's a minor detail. Um, so yeah, and also you can see the constrained floor elevation kind of madness going on with these different kind of layers. Um, I actually like, moved some of the layers like to the top here, um, and then some are at the bottom, like where the fireplace is over there. You can see like the walls like dip down. It's not the super, it's not like the most attractive looking um, situation, you know, that I could have, but you know, it is what it is, and I really wanted to get, like, the correct feeling for, like, those front stairs, that, like, kind of come down from the front door, so, you know, I kind of had to do it that way, even though it looks kind of wacky, and, like, the ceilings look really wacky, I mean, I tried to, like, not show that in the screenshots, because it's just kind of bad looking, um, you know, because, like, they're all, like, really dark, 
just because of like the separate little levels there, like they all have to be lit separately. Uh, I ended up using these lights from By Debug, so they're just like um, lights that don't show up in live mode. Uh, I don't usually use them, in fact I almost never use them because I'm not a huge fan of them uh, because I don't I don't generally like look at my houses in live mode except for take screenshots. Usually I'm just always in build mode, so they like don't look good and um, you know in build mode, but in this instance, I really needed to use them just because of all the um, different levels going on, and I just like I couldn't put lights um, above the table uh, because they wouldn't like light up the lowest level; they light up like the tiny little highest level, so it would just all be kind of wacky and not ideal. But anyway, we uh, have the dining table in, and now we're putting in the little. Uh, curtain there in the kitchen or various curtains in the kitchen um, yeah so you can kind of see the room looks a little bit oversized but you know it is what it is um, and the outside again of course does not look like the house exactly um, you know it's just like it's just it is what it is because the you know the the house that they show on the outside just doesn't have a second floor and it's that's quite it's just like it's that simple you know there's just no second floor so it's just not going to look the same when i put a second floor on it which is just kind of disappointing but you know it, it's better to have the second floor i think and the outside not look quite right than to um, have the second floor. And also you can, uh, not to have a second floor, but anyway. Also you may have noticed the front door is kind of moved over more than it is in the shot like of the house in real life. Um, and that's just because the floor plan had it there. And if I want the floor plan to work right, I had to move the front door like kind of away from that tower. But even though the real house, um, like they shoot the outside of, um, has the front door kind of like in, in set more and like right next to that uh, tower. So again, it's just like a small variation there just to get the kind of stairwell to work because if I put the front door like right next to that tower, uh, it would kind of like be like like um, right up against the staircase, which is definitely not the way it is in the show. So yeah, I'm just trying my best here. Um, but right now we're just getting in some windows, I believe. Um, I don't know if they ever really show what the back of the house looks like in the show. So I just, again, based that off the floor plan. I got the window placement from the floor plan as well. Uh, so yeah. And yeah, here I'm just recluttering the outside a little bit, I think. And what's next? I think we're going to do some more of the dining room area. Um, get a little bit of a light in there, get some details. I like scoured Google images to find like different angles. Uh, also, I think this plant for some reason ends up like inside the counter in the screenshots. I'm not really sure what happened there, but yeah, don't worry about it. Um, but yeah, I was like scouring Google images and just like going through like various episodes, like constantly pausing, trying to like find like shots of the inside of this house to get like um, everything kind of as correct as possible, at least furniture wise. Um, you know, it's kind of difficult in some cases because they don't like show every angle of every room. So like in some cases you just have to guess kind of like what would be over in one side. Um, so yeah. But anyway, I think we're going to move on now to the living room. And one of the important things I really wanted to have was the staircase having like that overlooking area into the living room, which I was able to do, um, which is very exciting. So like we have that spiral staircase there I built a while ago, uh, because of course, like in the show, this, this is like kind of a round tower and the staircase is curved and like curves up around it. Now, of course, we do have curved staircases in the game, but they're spiral staircases and they're like way too small and they just like wouldn't fill that space correctly and you couldn't have like that open area there. So you can see I kind of have that open like overlooking area where I think in one of the later seasons, Tobias jumps off um, dressed as Mrs. Featherbottom and crashes onto the coffee table in the, in the, fam in the living room. So... Yeah, but like it's, that was like an important thing I felt like I needed to have, so I made sure to have that kind of like overlooking uh, kind of area there. And unfortunately, the couch felt a little bit too small, but none of the sectional sofas really fit the room or like didn't really match what was in the show. And also like the massive armchair in the living room also just didn't really uh, exist in The Sims 3 because our armchairs are just really small. So I ended up using a love seat instead because it was actually closer to the width of that chair in the show than the one uh, in the game. So yeah. But anyway, recoloring some stuff here. So just recoloring the 
couch here so we're going for the green i think the couch color changes at one point i think in some seasons it's green and in other seasons it's gray so or brown maybe i don't know it definitely is not i remember like it not always being the same like when i was looking at pictures so i went with green um, and there's that horrible floral uh chair i say in air quotes um and then here we have the fireplace which is kind of like raised up uh which the way that's the way it is in the show except in the show it's on this kind of like curved section uh, I couldn't really get that to you know be a thing in, in the game because we don't have curves so I decided to just use um, just some angles there but I did raise up the fireplace and I got a little stereo on there a bit of a lamp in the corner which I you know again depending on the season um, there's different furniture uh, so like that lamp I think is not always there so you know just keep that in mind before you go like this doesn't look anything like the house just keep in mind it, it just you know it might be the season um, you know they, they kind of change things up but yeah, uh, oh, right here's a long pause. And yeah, if there's any like long pauses like that one, it's because I was like looking stuff up, um, looking up pictures. So yeah, that's basically what all that is. But anyway, yeah, right there are some curtains. Uh, and you can see the walls are kind of like all like weird. Um, like the lighting on the walls is weird. I tried my best to try to get even lighting, but again, it's really hard uh, to do that with these different levels. But yeah, anyway, we're moving on now to the office, which is one of the rooms that I think has like the least amount of um, shots in the show. So there's like barely like anything happening in this room. So I think only like a, a few occasional scenes um, kind of happen here. Um, so yeah, but uh, you know, I did my best here. I thought there was a chest there, but it turns out it was just a side table. So I actually changed that out. Uh, I think I also made this room a little bit larger than the room is in the show, but it kind of looks strange when it was smaller because it just kind of looked a little bit too weird and too tiny. But yeah, you know, the main things in this room are just like the desk. It's like a bookshelf behind it, not that big, but you know, and there's also like a leather couch over here. And I think it's pretty much like all that I know of that's in this room. Um, so yeah, oh, there goes a motorcycle. Thanks, buddy. It's real nice of him. Um, <laughs> Yeah, uh, but anyway, so yeah, um, yeah, I believe that is this room. You know, it's pretty simple. Um, I didn't really know like what went against the back wall there because I don't think there's any pictures of that. So you know, we just, just you know, just go with that. Anyway, I believe that is this room. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, just looking at it, I guess. Okay, so here's the entrance area. So again, we have like these two steps, uh, which I think is pretty cool. Um, you know, it's kind of like strange to have, like, I don't know like why you'd have this in a house, like these two kind of like a weird, like random, like separated steps. And actually I learned after I built this that the uh, bottom step there is actually two steps. So it's like one step and then two steps, which I didn't realize when I built it. And by the time I realized I wasn't about to redo it all and like raise everything up because I already like done the spiral staircase and all that. So, you know, you get the idea. It looks pretty correct. Um, it's just not exact. Uh, but anyway, uh, here we're putting in the doors on the second floor. So just getting those in and all the bedrooms and stuff. Um, and yeah, there's also the secret room as well, which is that little room by the stairs. So yes, I did include the secret room. It was in the floor plan. Um, and another thing, oh yeah, this little closet here. I couldn't get the door in just because of the constrained floor elevation stuff. So just like no door to that closet. So, you know, it's okay. Um, so anyway, um, one admission I had one omission I had to make was the attic. Unfortunately, I couldn't fit the attic in because, I mean, the real house from outside is only one floor, and there was no way I was going to be able to fit a two-story house with room for an attic under the roof and have it look even remotely like the house did um, in the show from the outside. So I couldn't do the attic because the roof line is just way too low to fit a room under there. So I'm sorry. There's no attic. You can just imagine that there's an attic there, you know? Uh, so yeah, um, but anyway, here I am in the bedroom that Tobias and Lindsay sleep in. So again, because this was a model home, uh, none of the rooms were like designed for the family. They were just designed to be generic. So this was like the generic little girl's room, and um, it has like different bedspreads on the beds depending on what season you look at. I think this is from a later season where it has like the pink. I think in an earlier season, it's kind of like beige and green or something like that. It's like a, it's like a um, 
plant pad or something like leaves or something i don't know i don't like fully remember but i do know it changes at some point uh, but we have that wallpaper on the back wall and the curtains and you know it's, i think it's all pretty accurate looking uh, it's like the uh, painting there or like some piece of artwork there um and uh, i'm also going to get in a desk and a little nook there i don't think they ever show that in the show but um it is like in the floor plan because the floor plan i was using had furniture in it also speaking of the floor plan i also found this really cool model of the house built entirely out of lego and they also like built i think the stair car maybe and also like all the characters in the show they built them out of lego it's really cool i'll link that in the description below too because i thought it was like really awesome so if you're interested in like further stuff besides this video i have the floor plans linked in the description and the um the little like lego recreation of this house in the description too it's really cool so you can check those out but anyway, that's that bedroom done. We're moving on now to George, Michael, and Maybe's bedroom. So this was the generic little boy's bedroom, I guess, when this was like a model home. So um, yeah, uh, the, uh, it has like these two beds, and they're kind of like on top of each other, or like one's a bunk bed, and the other one's kind of like underneath, but not like parallel. They're kind of like perpendicular to each other. And I was actually able to find a bedspread that like almost perfectly matched the one from the show. It was like this blue one that had like all this sporting stuff on it, like all these um, sports uh, related objects on it. And the only thing I couldn't really get quite right was the um, wallpaper it has like this line of um, like footballs and soccer balls and baseballs and stuff just like going around the like middle part of the wall. Unfortunately, there's no like wallpaper in the game that has that, so I just had to leave the walls blank. But you know, it's okay. And again, depending on the season, the furniture kind of moves around, especially like on this wall here where I'm putting the dresser. I think it changes at one point. It kind of like gets shifted around. So, you know, again, I'm just basing it off of just certain, whatever I screenshot I could get or whatever uh, angle in this show is like a good angle of the room. I would use those. So again, it's not accurate to every season. But anyway, here I'm getting in the little... Um, a beanbag chair which in the show is a football shaped chair but uh in here it's just a beanbag chair and i think over here is a bookshelf i don't think I, you can ever like get a good angle of what's on this wall but there's like some sort of blue piece of furniture so i think it's just a bookshelf there's also a closet there along the back as well and yeah so i think that's pretty much it for this room uh so yeah this is george michael and maybe's bedroom and next, I think we're going to move on to the bathroom, which I don't know if they ever even show this bathroom in the show. I think the only times they show the bathrooms in the model home is when Tobias is crying in the shower, or that one time he's in the bathroom and took a picture of in the bathtub. He took a picture of himself, and everyone thought it was like the um, Iraq landscape. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Uh, so, um, I think those are the only shots of the bathrooms like in the show, um, in the, of this house. I think they show the bathroom in um, Lucille's apartment more than they show the bathrooms in the house. But yeah, so I just base it off the whatever was in the floor plan. Also there, I put stuff in the secret room, or I put lighting in the secret room. The only thing I ended up putting in the secret room was just a little bookshelf because I didn't really know what to do with there in there. Uh, because at least in this model home, like where they actually live, it was just like some sh like some shelving and just like like um, family photos and like and like company files and stuff. Um, in the house, like the model home in Iraq, I think they had um, like a fake nuclear weapon in there. So not nuclear weapon, but just that would be ridiculous. <laughs> like just a fake um, uh, missile, I think, in there. So um, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, here we're doing the master bedroom. So this is where Michael sleeps. Um, or yeah, this is his bedroom. So um, yeah pretty nice bedroom uh i don't think they ever show like the angle where the uh, bay windows are but it's in the floor plan so i put them in and there's also these two little closets uh, along this wall and i put this kind of archway in there so it's kind of like separated a bit and there's also the master bathroom right here which uh i put in a bathtub because i think that's the bathroom where tobias was in when he was in the bathtub so I think that's from um, this bathroom. And then I put this little shower there, which wouldn't be usable, but just so it looks like there's a shower in the bathroom. And here I'm doing some rugs and stuff in the hallways. Uh, and what is next? I think I put like a bit of lighting down here in this little closet. So yeah, it's just a closet, but um, unfortunately couldn't uh, get a door on it. But it's also this really weird little area here in front of the garage, just because the house in real life has that archway there in the front, but it actually goes through into a courtyard where like the garage is. But in the show, you know, the house doesn't have that. 
So it just looks like that archway just goes into blackness. So the way that the floor plan dealt with it was just making this weird little fake room in the front and then had the garage behind it. So, you know. Oh, and if you noticed, the car in the garage is a red sports car, which is referencing when Michael went to um, the car dealership and he bought that red Corvette and he shouldn't have spent all that money because he was being hypocritical because he was telling the family not to spend all the money like when the stock became unfrozen and then he went and bought that expensive sports car and had it parked out front. I think it was only like a couple episodes or something, but you know, I couldn't do the stair car because, well, there's no stair car in Sims 4 or Sims 3 rather. Um, so yeah, I went with the red sports car instead. And yeah, I'm also building this house in The Sims 3 and not The Sims 4 because The Sims 3, does, I just like it, I needed the constrained floor elevation to make this house believable. There's no way that you could build this house in The Sims 4 at all. So that's pretty much why. But anyway, doing some grass out front here because, you know, depending on the uh, season or the image that they show, there's sometimes grass, sometimes not. I don't know, like the picture I was looking at specifically had grass out front, but I know that in the show, sometimes it didn't have grass, so, you know, I'm just doing some, kind of like going right down the middle there, and also the driveway, they don't really ever show what the driveway looks like, so, yeah, just putting the driveway in, um, just how I think it should go, and the backyard is, like, barely shown, I think they show it one time when, like, Lucille's outside, and she's, like, turning around in a chair that it's not supposed to be turned around in, um, so, like, they show there's, like, a fireplace outside, and it's kind of, like, fenced in, and there's, like, a, well, some sort of outdoor furniture going on, and, like, that's about it, uh, there's very, like, limited, um, uh, images of the backyard, so, yeah, I just kind of went with an outdoor fireplace, kind of fenced it in, because I know there is a fireplace out there, and I also put in some outdoor furniture. But anyway, I really hope you enjoyed this video. There's a download link in the description below if you want to download this house and put it in your own game. And I know it's not exactly perfect and exactly how the house is in the show, but then again, it's not really possible to build it exactly how the house is in the show. So yeah, but I hope you enjoyed it anyway, and I really appreciate it if you consider subscribing, and I hope you enjoy the screenshots.